everyone welcome back to my channel and if you are new my name is Griselda and happy new year we are officially in 2019 and to be honest with you I couldn't be any happier I was so over the holidays comment down below if you're also over the holidays I just wanted life to be back to normal and it officially is so as my first video I thought to myself I wanted to start 2019 with a fresh face but I also wanted you guys' opinion and I wanted to see what you guys wanted to see on my channel as my first video and I asked you guys if you wanted a fresh face or a dramatic look and 72% of you guys said a fresh face and 28% of you guys said a dramatic look so in this video I am going to be showing you how to create this look and just so I let you guys know this is my version of a fresh face um, this doesn't have to be your version you can totally change the look to make it your own um, you can add lashes change the lip color add liner do whatever you please but this is my version Version. so if you want to see how I get this look then just keep on watching you we're going to start off by priming I'm going to be using my cover effects this is the blurring prime and pore minimizer I used this in my last video and I really loved how it just made my skin look really smooth and very even and since it is the new year everyone's going back to their daily routine I feel like this is a perfect look to start the new year with because everyone just wants to look fresh going back to their regular daily routine and I already did my eyebrows um, I did them pretty light I just cleaned them up with a little bit of concealer and next I'm gonna put a little bit of my Ole Hendrickson banana bright under eye cream and I'm just going to dab that right underneath this banana bright under eye cream is great to just give you that like refresh look and that's the look that we're going for today so this is a perfect under eye cream to apply before your makeup especially if you're going to into the office and you just want to look really refreshed we don't want to look like we've been partying all night you know even though we have all right so now that's settled into my skin so now what we're gonna do is I usually am switching between these two foundations this is the beauty blender bounce foundation and I use the shade 3.75 but I'm almost completely out so I'm not gonna have enough to apply this but I also love using the urban decay all-nighter foundation um, you guys have heard me talk about this this is such a great foundation for people that are going to be out all day don't have time to touch up it is waterproof it is long wearing it is matte it is full coverage you still want the face to look really fresh um, but if you do have some type of pigmentation this foundation is going to be great for that I actually have a huge breakout right here I have no idea what made me break out I haven't changed anything but um, you'll see how good this is going to cover it it's not going to cover texture but it's going to cover the pigmentation We're going to start off with two pumps like that and we're just going to apply that all over see as you can see it won't cover any like texture but it will cover pigmentation and i'm using the shade 7.0 so for concealer i still want to have a full coverage concealer because if i am going to be out all day i do want it to last so i'm going to be using my joy concealer in the shade creme brulee and i still want to be able to highlight the high points of my face so that's the reason why i'm using a lighter shade and usually what i like to do with this concealer to kind of help me sculpt out my nose. I do bring it up a little higher up here and then bring it out and then blend it out. With this look, you don't wanna focus it so much on highlighting and contouring because you don't want it to be like super sculpted. You still want it to look really fresh face. So now moving on to under eyes, we are going to set the concealer with our Huda, Huda, Huda Beauty um, in the shade Banana Bread. We're gonna bake right underneath the eye. And I don't need to bake as long, so I'm just going to press it in and then just dust it off. And for that, I'm just gonna pick up a dual fiber brush. This one is from Bara, I think it's called, and this is the 40F brush. So we're just gonna dust that off. 
Now we're gonna pick up our Give Me Sun by MAC. And this is a MAC 140S brush. And we're just going to warm up the skin. And you can see the difference like just right here. And then just bring it around the perimeter of the face just to kind of add a little bit of warmthness. I'm not necessarily contouring my face. I'm just adding a little bit of that sun kiss to the skin. Usually with this foundation, I don't like to set the rest of my face because it doesn't need that so i just go in with a clean brush and just kind of buff everything out for the blush we're going to pick up a little bit of this melt cali dream and i really love how peachy it is so it's like very subtle it just gives you a really nice color on the cheek not too overpowering and i'm running it right on top of the bronzer so it almost gives me like higher cheekbones so for the eyes we are going to prime our eyes with the joy concealer and we're just going to pat that in and then we're going to pick up this brush right here this is the f12 brush by ColourPop, and then just kind of press it into the lid you always want to make sure that you blend it all the way through on the outer corner so it doesn't look patchy all right so for the eyes we're going to be using this bh cosmetics this is the sylvia gani um collab this palette is actually super pretty this is what it looks like and but for this look we're going to stay super neutral um we're going to pick up this color called woof and we are going to set the whole entire eyelid we're still going to pick up that f12 brush by ColourPop. And we are going to press that all over the lid. I always like to set my base just so it stays in place and the eyeshadows are so easy to blend out. And as you can see, I'm going in and pressing motions, not buffing motions because I'm setting the actual eye base. Now moving on to the crease, we're going to be using this Makeup Addiction. This is the Tapered Crease Brush. And we're going to pick up this S Club right here. And we are going to deposit that into the crease. And I'm holding the mirror down here because it's letting me see where my eye socket is. So so I'm depositing the product in that area first and then blending it upwards and then I'm bringing it in a little bit to the inner corner. So for eyeliner, I'm going to pick up this extra baggage by Dose of Colors. This is the Cream Matte Eye Colors and we're just going to pick up a 210 brush by MAC. With these eyeliners, what I like to do is I like to pick it up on the brush and then just make it really flat on the cap because these eyeliners are extremely pigmented and we're just going to create a really nice eyeliner. We're not going to do a wing, we're going to just do the eyeliner to the shape of our eyes. And I find that with a thin eyeliner brush like this is super easy because you have a lot of control with this brush. It looks really nice and really clean. And that's pretty much it for the eyes. I'm not going to do so much. I'm going to do a coat of this Hypnosis Drama Mascara by Lancome. But first, I'm going to curl my lashes. This is also by Lancome. This is one of my favorite um, lash curlers because it really curls my lashes. And you guys, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but it really curls my lashes. Actually, you can see like the difference. No curl, curl. And it lifts them up so good. And then we just do a coat of mascara. So for my waterline, usually when I am really tired or I get a lot of redness in my eye, I like to run this Milk Eyeliner. This is in the shade BCC and this is a nude eyeliner. So it looks like this. This eyeliner is just going to neutralize your waterline so you look a little bit more awake and not as tired. Before I do my highlight and the bottom of my lashes, I do like to spray Fix Plus to kind of bring that really nice fresh look to the skin. And I do a generous amount of this, so don't be alarmed. So I'm just going to cover my eyes.
and usually I like to fan my face. I've smacked myself a few times doing this. So if that happens to you, please know you're not the only one. And to add a little bit of highlight, we are going to be using Artist Couture. This is the Diamond Lux in Hot Damn. And just a little bit, not so much because it is like an everyday fresh face look. For my bottom lashes, I'm going to be using my Extended Play Giga Black Mascara by, um, what is this? By MAC. And I'm not going to do a lot. I'm just going to do a very small amount because I don't want my bottom lashes to be super crazy and noticeable. I just want them to be like really nicely separated. So for the looks, I'm just going to apply a little bit of this Fenty Beauty. This is the Fenty Glow Lip Gloss. And we're just gonna apply that all over. All right, everyone, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And if you really like this look, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want more videos like this, make sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload. And without further ado, I will see you guys in my next video.